Hello, welcome to part 9 of 500 Physiotherapy MCQ series. We have given explanation to each and every answers in the description and detailed explanation inside the Telegram channel. Now let's do not waste much time. Let's move to our number 161. Which molecular ion dissolved in the blood is able to stimulate the central chemoreceptors of the brain receptory centers? Option A, carbon dioxide. Option B, carbonate. Option C, oxygen. Option D, calcium. And the answer is... Option A, carbon dioxide. Now let's move to question number 162. Impairment is defined as dash. Option A, loss of psychological, physiological or anatomical stressure or function in a human being. Option B, lack of ability to perform an activity considered to be normal for a human being. Option C, inability to perform the family and social role. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is... Option A. Loss of psychological, physiological or anatomical structure or function in a human being. Now let's move to question number 163. The most common respiratory complication in a stroke is Option A. Aspiration pneumonia Option B. COPD Option C. Respiratory failure Option D. Pleuritis And the answer is Option A. Aspiration pneumonia Now let's move to question number 164. Right coronary artery supplies all except Option A. Anterior two-third of ventricular septum Option B. SA node Option C. AV node Option B. LBB And the answer is Option A. Anterior two-third of the ventricular septum Now let's move to question number 165 Myasthenia gravis is due to dash receptor being blocked and destroyed by the antibodies Option A, epinephrine. Option B, nicotinic. Option C, acetylcholine. Option D, transient. And the answer is... Option C, acetylcholine. Now let's move to question number 166. Risk factors for leg calf patch disease is... Option A, accelerated skeletal growth. Option B, growth hormone abnormality. Option C, positive family history. Option D, female sex. And the answer is... Option C, positive family history. Now let's move to question number 167. All are features of inflammatory arthritis except Option A, morning stiffness. Option B, X-ray showing sclerosis. Option C, elevated ESR. Option D, swelling of the joints. And the answer is... Option B, X-ray showing sclerosis. Now let's move to question number 168. Which of the following statement is correct about the fracture management in children? Option A. Supracondylar fracture of the humerus can be managed by close reduction. Option B. Lateral condylar fracture of the humerus is known as fracture of necessity. Option C. Lateral condylar fracture of humerus is managed by open reduction and screwing. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option D. All of the above. Now let's move to question number 169. Modified assured scale grade 1 plus dash. Option A. Slight increase in muscle tone manifested by catch followed by minimal resistance throughout the remainder of the range of motion. Option B. Slight increase and tone manifested by catch and release and by minimal resistance at the end of the range when the affected part is moved in flexion and extension. Option C. More marked increase in the tone but affected part easily flexed. Option D. Consideration increase in the tone. Passive movement is difficult. And the answer is... Option A. Slight increase in the muscle tone manifested by catch followed by minimal resistance throughout the remainder of the range of motion. Now let's move to question number 170. Complication of fracture of lateral condyle of humerus is Option A. Cubatus varus deformity Option B. Teddy's ulna no palisy. Option C. Cubatus valgus deformity Option D. Non-union Option E. All of the above And the answer is Option E. All of the above Now let's move to question number 171 The first event to occur in a micturation reflex is Option A. Relaxation of the sphincter. Option B. Detrusor contraction. Option C. Relaxation of the peritoneal muscles. 
Option D, activity of EMG stops at external splinter. And the answer is Option C, relaxation of the perineal muscle. Now let's move to question number 172. Slick's maneuver is artificial airway insertion also called as Option A, cricoid bone pressure. Option B, jaw thrust. Option C, head tilt. Option D, esophagus compression. And the answer is Option A, cricoid bone pressure. Now let's move to question number 173. Sign of compartment syndrome include Option A, pain on passive flexion. Option B, no pain. Option C, swelling of fingers. Option D, fever. And the answer is Option C, swelling of fingers. Now let's move to question number 174. Sympathetic supply of the heart arises from which of the following spinal segment? Option A, T1 to T5. Option B, T2 to T6. Option C, T3 to T7. Option D, T4 to T8. And the answer is Option A, T1 to T5. Now let's move to question number 175. Which of the following is an absolute contraindication for electrical stimulation? Option A, pacemaker. Option B, insensitive skin. Option C, unconscious patient. Option D, ischemic heart disease. And the answer is Option A, pacemaker. Now let's move to question number 176. Hanging cast is used for Option A, femur fracture. Option B, radius fracture. Option C, humerus fracture. Option D, tibia fracture. And the answer is Option C, humerus fracture. Now let's move to question number 177. Potassium sparing diuretics have the primary effect upon the dash formed in the kidney. Option A, proximal convoluted tubule. Option B, loop of Henle. Option D, still convoluted tubule. And the answer is Option D, distal convoluted tubule. Now let's move to question number 178. The ligament that extends from the inferior edge of the ulnar radial nodes to the insert in the neck of radius is Option A, annular ligament. Option B, quadrate ligament. Option C, oblique cord. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is Option B, quadrate ligament. Now let's move to question number 179. Rehabilitation concepts in Bopath approach is based on dash of the motor control. Option A, reflex theory. Option B, hierarchical theory. Option C, system theory. Option D, ecological theory. And the answer is hierarchical theory. Now let's move to question number 180. All are true about septic arthritis except Option A, Streptococcus aureus is most common cause. Option B, most common cause is Estudicia coli. Option C, common in children's. Option D, affects the growth plate. And the answer is Option B, most common cause is Estudicia coli. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment box. I think you have learned something valuable today. See you in the next session. Let's part 10. Thank you. Bye-bye.